Hey guys, welcome to Shark Gaming YouTube channel. Before we continue with this video, I'd just like to thank everyone who has gotten me to 600 subscribers. I really appreciate all of you guys. The only thing left to do now is just keep growing. So let's keep growing. So today we're going to talk about the Konami Cup and everything that's wrong with it. When I say Konami Cup, I don't mean the regular challenge in which you have preset teams whereas you pick manchester united and you get all the players no i mean like you pick a side and you have to use your own players so instead of us getting regular fair matches like this or even this this is bad and not so bad we get this which makes completely no sense the reason why i say this is because you're going to choose a side a base side and then you're going to use other players that aren't a part of that side just because you can win an up your ranking but at the same time, where people can just use the regular players and get 2,000 ad points, you'll be having to play like 5 different matches and get like 700 points per match. This to me doesn't make any sense because I can't be using Real Madrid and using Messi. That doesn't make any sense. While I'm here using my Manchester United side, it's not the strongest side in the world. But at the same time, I'm true to the game. I accept this challenge. This is me trying to win online using an entire squad full of players that aren't even as good as most of the players from like Bayern Munich, Real Madrid. You know, where's the fun in that? This is actually one of the best examples I can find from the last match day where you can see that my opponent is using Real Madrid and only has three Madrid players. As I said, I don't have a problem with it, but it just takes the fun out of the game. It doesn't really make the game interesting because at the same time, they're using players that I could have used, but I chose not to because I decided that, oh, I want the challenge. Why wouldn't somebody want the challenge to say, yo, I'm going to only use players from a side and see if I can still win. The thing is, with Manchester United, I only have, I have Igalo up there striking. I have Romero in goal. I don't even have David De Gea. I have Romero in goal. I don't have Luke Shaw, so I'm using Williams. I have Bissaka, thank God for that. I have um, Iconic Moment, Beckham and Scholes. So I guess that that's a little bit of compensation right there. But at the same time, why can't you just use the side or players from the side that you chose? That's for the greater challenge. Because if I could, say, use um, Everton or... I don't know wolves and use only players from that side and beat everybody in online what does that say about me that says that i'm a great player so i'm here playing this guy and you know he has his friend on the tours and everything which is completely op which has completely broken the game in my opinion and i'm just here using my manchester united side playing you know regular counter attacking manchester united ball game i have everybody here all I'm doing is waiting till he attacks and slapping him on the counter. Right here in this instant, you can see that it was offside and that he's constantly attacking me. <laughs> but yeah, Romero isn't really that good at keeper in the game. He, he lets in too much, like too many goals, and it's very annoying. Igal is very, very strong. Like I feel like he's the silver ball version of Lukaku. So if you guys want to use him or you guys want me to make like a review about him, I can. His touch is like like first touch is, is horrible but as you can see i have beckham right here <laughs> making the plays on the right with his pinpoint crossing rashford almost scoring but hey the game never finished yet so i met beckham go in and then i met bruno take a curler curler scored and that was the start of that the rest of the game though it was like it was kind of stupid because he eventually subbed on some more iconic moment players and i was there saying to myself like where is the fun in this what kind of fun can you like you know because all right if i'm using my manchester united players that means regardless of the the outcome of the game i'm guaranteed to get at least 1400 points every single time i play these match days i always finish the match days within like four matches because i just win four matches and that's it well these persons i can like i can't even begin to imagine what type of stress or how many games they have to play because if i'm using let's say in this in this guy's case he's only using three players that are on the side 
he's using players that are that are the opposite of Madrid. He's using the 99 Joey Felix, which is from Atletico Madrid. So more than likely, instead of getting the 400%, he's going to get like the 80 or the 120. So even if he wins a game, he's probably going to get like 800 points at most. So how many games does he have to play? How many games does he has to play to really, you know, get points around here? It's 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 rather annoying. But yeah, I was killing this guy with counters. Like he didn't even know what to do. But yeah guys, the point of this video was to tell you that I don't really have a problem playing them, it's just that I don't really see what they get out of it. But if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share.